Hey everyone, Nick here with another Alien Covenant news video. So this one's going to be talking about some new images that were just released today, April 24th. So these images tease a lot about the new stuff in the film, uh, more specifically Elizabeth Shaw's fate. So basically I'm just going to break down the images here one by one, kind of talk about them and give my thoughts on what we're seeing here. So the first image is, like I said, showing us Elizabeth Shaw's beacon that we saw teased in the TV spots titled Take Me Home. So it looks like Shaw transmits this beacon using the engineer's holographic technology on the juggernaut ship and this image right here shows us the Covenant crew possibly picking up on that and figuring out whether or not they actually want to land on paradise. Alright, so the next image shows us the dropship leaving the Covenant's uh, hangar bay possibly and heading towards the surface of paradise. Next up here we got an image of the landing craft on the waterfront close to the surface of this jungle here that the Covenant crew are walking out on. Uh, great stuff here, I love the cinematography and just the visual imagery of I think this is Milford Sound in New Zealand so love this stuff here. Alright so the next couple shots just show us stuff that we've seen in various trailers, just new looks at you know different characters, different angles, we're seeing them walking up and looking up at the juggernaut ship as it's crashed on the side of this giant mountain. Okay, so the next image here is actually something new. It looks like Ferris, who's played by Amy Simitz, running towards the wounded personnel that are coming onto the landing craft infected by the black goo spores that will eventually give birth to the Neomorphs in the whole Backburster sequence. So, like I mentioned in previous videos, this sequence will probably be one of the most intense scenes in the entire movie. Just the uh, frantic nature of the people running around trying to figure out what's going on, and then, of course, the bursting out uh, thing that we've seen in all the other alien films so can't wait to see this one on the big screen and the last three images that we have here are stuff from the end of the movie I think because this one right here it looks like Daniels is pretty beaten up after her fight uh, with the different alien creatures and I think that she's on the lander actually towards the end of the film that Tennessee picks them up on and you can see the xenomorph trying to smash its head on the glass window it looks like she's outside of the lander probably before she falls over and gets like dangling from that wire on it so cool stuff there. Uh, next up, the last two images here, we see the survivors trying to find the Xenomorph on the Covenant ship itself. We see Daniels and Tennessee right here looking very distraught, uh, trying to figure out where this hostile alien creature is. So those are all of the new images that we got. Uh, let me know what you guys think of them down in the comment section below. What image stood out to you the most? Personally, the biggest takeaway was probably the Shaw beacon image. I think that's really cool. And I'm curious to see what other role Shaw will have in the film. Film, whether it's just the hologram or if she actually has something bigger that they're trying to really keep a surprise. Thank you guys again for watching, my name is Zick, and for more on Alien Covenants and the Alien and Predator universe, stick with the Hybrid Network.